the venue six o'clock. below if you're interested she has beautiful beautiful pieces I mean look how beautiful this is very beautiful very beautiful silk silk flowers very beautiful so we're almost done and then we're gonna go home and get ready but yeah let's come together <laughs> I know it came together That's how you do it. You make it. You create the business. Pretty. We got a lot of things done. There was a lot of us setting up, which is great. One thing I, I love about my friend Hannah is that she has a lot of people around her that loves her. So people are willing to just sacrifice their time to help her. Like every event, everything she has people are willing to do that because she has just one of the biggest hearts that I know she's an amazing person um, I've known her since undergrad my first I think my first year in college bless you I was about 18 when I met her 31 now so I've known her for 13 years Wow Wow 13 years and um, we've been friends ever since so yeah it's so crazy how you just experience different phases in people's lives and um, I mean and then 13 years later she's on her second kid having a naming ceremony and you're attending so yeah it's great but she has the biggest heart ever I mean one there's many reasons why I say that she has a big heart but one of the main reasons why I just adore her and would do anything for her is the fact that she's she's probably always been there for me she's like one of those listening ears that you can talk to and not expect any judgment and not receive any um, backlash from what you're doing what you say and she won't tell anyone <laughs> So I trust her with my information. I trust her with everything. Um, she was there for me oof, years ago for just a lot of things that I was going through. She never told a soul. So yeah, and she, whenever I became vegan, she never questioned it. She never judged me. She was always willing to make sure she accommodated for me. And for me, that was something that really showed me that she was a really good friend. So. Anytime she needs my help, I'm always going to be there for her, always, without question. Even if I didn't live here in town with her, in the same town as her, I still will come. So, yeah, I'm excited. 
excited. I'm so proud of her, her husband, her family. I'm so happy for them. And I wish her all the best. So if she watches this, I wish you all the best, girl. You know I love you. So, yeah, we're almost there now. Hopefully she doesn't, she's going to see me walk in, but hopefully she's not mad. But anywho, we're almost there, so I'll just see you guys when I get there. But I'm back at home and I changed because I'm going to another party. So I was initially gonna go to a party with my old coworkers, but one of the girls got sick. So we have rescheduled to another day. Most likely it's gonna be next year. But my boyfriend's, is it your training group? Mm -hmm. your, his training group is having a party, a Christmas party. So I'm going. So I told myself that I'm not gonna get overly dressed anymore when I go to parties because I've realized or noticed, I've noticed that a lot of times when I go to parties, I'm super overdressed. So today I'm wearing something extremely casual. I've pretty much kept my makeup and hair the same way as I did this morning, but I just kind of threw on this choker because I need to, I wanted to put on something. And then I just put on my bodysuit and some jeans and some mules. I literally, I just can't turn down the light. I just can't try so hard and then I'm like the only one dressed. I'm not doing that. So, so yeah, um, we're gonna go drop the little one at her grandma's house and then we are gonna go out. It should be fun. You excited, babe? Mm -hmm. He's never really interactive. He never really interact, but whatever. I'm excited to get out because I was just gonna kind of call it a night, but now that we're going somewhere else, I'm excited, so I'm like, why not? It's Christmas. 